In the previous tutorial, we showed you how to install the transfer tool on the remote review station. This tutorial covers how to transfer slides from either the Cellevision Processing Database or the Cellevision Competency Software Database to your Cellevision Proficiency account. Start up the transfer tool on the remote review station. If you have problems locating the transfer tool, click on the Start button, then All Programs, and locate the Cellevision folder and you should see the transfer tool listed there. Once the transfer tool is open, you will see a list of all available databases. Select the database containing the slides to transfer and log in. The table shows a list of all available slides in that database. Note that slides are also referred to as orders in other Cellevision systems. Select individual slides by clicking the checkbox next to them. You can also select multiple slides at once by holding down Shift or Control while clicking on rows. Should you want to transfer all the slides within that database, you can click the checkbox in the column header. After selecting all the slides you want to transfer, click Mark All Highlighted. In the Transfer Selection panel to the right, you can see the total number of slides marked for transfer. Click Transfer and select a location on the hard drive and save the files. If the remote review station doesn't have access to the Internet, insert a USB flash drive into the computer and select the USB flash drive when prompted for a location. Next, bring the Cellevision Proficiency software back up either on your remote review station or on another PC that does have access to the Internet. In the Slides tab, click Upload Slides and navigate to the location where you saved the files. If you used a USB flash drive, insert it into the computer and choose it as the file location. Select the slides you want to upload and click Open. You will see the slide upload starting. Depending on the number of slides you selected for uploading, this may take a few minutes. Note that patient information is not transferred with the slides. Congratulations! You have now successfully uploaded slides to your account. In the next tutorial, we will show you how to verify the existing cell classifications before using the slides for proficiency testing.